Danny Duquette. Hey, Dr. Bailey. I hope seeing you here means they finally found you a heart. No offense, doctor, but I'm not a big fan of hospitals. It takes something pretty special to get me in here. Well, what do we know about Mr. Duquette? Capricorn, single, loves to travel and cook. Denny, be quiet. Let her show off. Denny Duquette, 36, admitted today for a heart transplant necessitated by a viral cardiomyopathy. Mm, and what does that mean? That his heart is unable to fill and pump blood normally. Good. Denny, this is Dr. Stevens. She'll be tending to you prior to surgery. So I guess I'll be seeing you around, Dr. Stevens. Dr. Bell, 2743. Dr. Bell, 2743. I got a hand to the guy trying to get some action when he's practically a corpse. Alex, he's just trying to be nice. Hi. Denny, <laughs> I thought you were asleep. Nah, I don't sleep in hospitals. I'm scared I'll never wake up. Can I ask you something personal? If I say no? I'll hold my breath, which will stop my heart killing me. You're right here. You'll be charged with murder. Lifetime in prison being loved by a big old girl named Hildy. So my choices are homicide charges or inappropriate personal questions from a patient. I know. It kind of sucks. You know what? Hold your breath. I'll take my chances with Hildy. I can do girl on girl. Oh, see, so you're bringing up girl <laughs> on girl. How can I blackmail you if you bring up girl on girl? What do you want to know? That guy, Alex. You with him? No. Not anymore and never, ever again. Good. Good? Yeah, good. It means I want to fight him for you. What makes you think I want you to fight him for me? Hello. You are in love with me. <laughs> Am I? Yeah, it's not your fault. I mean, I'm well off, but I'm not into money. I'm smart, but I'm not a know-it-all. I'm funny. I'm, I'm really nice. I love animals. And I'm hot. I'm a catch. You know, if you can wrap your head around the enlarged failing heart and the dependency to IV meds. You're right. I am so in love with you. It's a shame, really, since I'm with Hildy and all. <laughs> Just adding nitro. Your blood pressure's stable now, your CHF is improved, and the atrial fibrillation resolved. I like the way you say fibrillation. Fibrillation. Jeez. <laughs> How are you feeling? You, um, you believe in karma? Um, actually, I do, yeah. I think you might be mine. <laughs> well, you must have been very, very good to deserve me. I must have. <laughs> Say, not exactly how I envisioned our perfect first date. Are you kidding? Do you know how hard I've had to work to get a cute boy in bed before? You think I'm cute? <laughs> okay. Shut up and drink your juice. It's a pretty face, you know. Got it going on up here as well. So you keep telling me. Yeah, I probably know hundreds of words. Really? Hundreds? Wow, you're a real brain trust. Ouch. Oh, I'm highly competitive. <sighs> Screw. S-C-R-E-W. That's 25 points. Thank you very much. Wait a second. Now. You didn't tell me we were playing naughty word Scrabble. <laughs> we're not playing naughty word Scrabble. You just have a dirty mind. Oh, it's filthy. But you're the one that put down Screw. I was referring to hardware, not sex. Oh. I guess maybe sometimes it's, uh, it's hard to tell where you're, where you're coming from. <laughs> what do you mean? <sighs> Alex, uh, he may have said something about you guys uh, being together. Well, he had no business telling you that, and besides, it's not even true, so... So you're not together? No. I mean, yeah, a little, but not really, so no. Okay, well, 
Sweet, thanks. Uh, <laughs> thanks for clearing that up. Age 36. 37 in three weeks. 37 in three weeks. He's having difficulty breathing and chest pains. And breath sounds? Still a little junky. He has a buildup of fluid in his system. Hey, you just called me a junkie. That's not very nice. Denny, your congestive heart failure is getting worse despite the meds. All right, so how do we proceed? Doctors, how do we proceed? Titrate up his nitrate drip and continue with diuretics. Plus... Ace inhibitors, beta blockers, and start dibutamine. I also want his ins and outs recorded and one of you monitoring him at all times. I'll stay. Me too. Why are you crying? I'm not crying. You are too. I cannot fall for impatient. Find a penny, pick it up, and all day long, you'll have good luck. It's just not George anymore. He's broken George. First he chops off his hair, then he starts hanging out with this Callie. But it, that, that is not a name, Callie. Who is she, anyway? I'm his best friend. Not that he talks to me anymore. Triple word score. 69 points. Woman, I'm beating the pants off you. Pay attention, what the hell are you doing? I'm knitting a sweater. Actually, Meredith, that's my friend, the friend that broke George. She is knitting a sweater. She's not really knitting a sweater because she cannot knit. But I want her to think she is knitting a sweater because she and I took a celibacy vow, so she's replacing sex with knitting. And so I am knitting pieces of Meredith's sweater so that I can switch them out with her so that she can really believe she is knitting. Because if anybody needs to be celibate, it's Meredith because she broke George, you know? You took a vow of celibacy? Yes. How am I supposed to get in your pants if you took a vow of celibacy? That is a very inappropriate thing to say to your doctor. But you know what's inappropriate? Promising sexual favors to a patient in order to get him to live and then backing out. Denny Duquette, I so never, ever promised. In my head, you did. In my head, you delivered. Huh. Don't worry. You weren't very good. <laughs> ah. Okay. You know what? I was being nice. I was letting you win because your Mr. Sick needs a new organ guy. But just for that comment, I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah, I'm going to... You put down Mount, honey? There are those of us who or love Mount. to play. Ta-da. You made me a sweater. Today. In one day, you made me a sweater. Yeah, well, you know, I just I had some time, so... Well, that vow of celibacy must really be something. You know what? Just accept your gift and say thank you. Does this mean I don't get any sexual favors? Sweater instead of sex. Smell it. Go on, smell it. it smells like Izzy. Yeah, I wore it for three hours, so that is the closest you're going to be getting to this body, mister. You want to play some Scrabble, or are you too tired? Scrabble, please. Just show me one boob. <laughs> you got it. It did indeed. And you're okay? Are you kidding me? I'm great. I mean, look at this. Some nice sized batteries, colorful wires. That's what your best dressed LVAD patients are wearing these days, you know? Really? Because it seems so last fall. Too often, going after what feels good means letting go of what you know is right. Gonna get in trouble. I'm there. I'm not gonna cheer up for you. You don't have to cheer up. I'm not here for me. I'm here for you. Okay?
Mm. Would it be wrong for me to fill you up right now? Mm. Not so much. <laughs> <laughs> Such a dirty boy. <laughs> I know. Hmm.